mission, sought the help of uh, Burning Man and the Black Earth, Black Rock Arts Foundation to find an artist that could creatively use these materials and repurpose them into uh, what you see here today. Uh, the site presented itself as ideal during the process of our uh, search for what can we do with these materials, where can we put them. Um, this, one of the reasons it was so ideal also was that, uh, as we took into consideration, this area is familiar with many of the uh, burners who travel these crossroads here on their way to acquire provisions for their stay at the playa. Uh, our artist, Mark Shulgit, uh, and his collaborator, Brooke Erdman, they took the Rio Started Burning Man uh, last year, where over 50,000 people had a chance to see the sculpture. And then after that, the sculpture was brought back here, installed, given its final paint job, and here we are. Uh, we think it's fantastic also that the artist employed numerous local businesses in Reno to transform the old materials into this new sculpture. Uh, in so many ways, this sculpture is associated with the message of revitalization. It's repurposed old materials. It's been placed at this intersection that's uh, undergone these aesthetic renovations. Uh, it's on a piece of land that was previously empty, unused, somewhat uh, unattractive.